shit, like uh, this lost heater that someone dropped in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna go down and salvage. Uh, 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 no, we're really doing the six pack achievement. So you start on the park. What do you s start wherever you want? I'm I guess. back. We're starting on the park. Um, I use Sky and I put on plumber boots because they give you a little more air control and some of the stuff you have to jump to. Yeah, let's get a drink, baby. Mm -hmm. Something real tasty, because I'm going to be playing this mother an arcade game over here all day. That's right, kids. It's Snake. You can go around and gobble up apples, but in this case, it's just red blocks. Now at the construction site. I'm back. Alright, it's so like I was saying. Plumber boots and that other thing that gives you speed and double jump. So when you're sky, you actually get a triple jump. Oh. But, you to, but you have to use the triple jump in the game. instead of just walking off the cliff like I just did. So one, two, three, boom, hop up there. And then up there is another game to play. I usually find them by looking at those codes they give you to type into like Legion something that tells you about the story. So once again, I fell. It's probably the hardest one to get to because you got to jump. I think there's another um, perk that gives you a better jump, but I don't have it yet. So that's how I got up there. Plumber boots and that perk that gives you double jump and speed. Let's go to the train station. Up and Adam. And Adam. So if you walk down these tracks, uh, most of the tracks you go to walk on end up putting you into some creepy gas fog mixture uh, except this track there's no creepy gas fog mixture but it feels a lot like that scene in Stand By Me where they're walking down the train tracks and Vern drops his comb and he says what the heck you need a comb for man I brought it for you guys anyhow watch that movie it's good you run down the tracks uh, and then you jump in here. I tried to walk in there once and fell down to my death. Uh, which gets really frustrating when you win. So I make a lot of unnecessary jumps and then don't know where the hell I am. And then run around the rooms looking for the stupid freaking arcade machines. Which is not over this way, as you can see. Because I got lost when I jumped in. So, uh, when you do come in that door, it's actually right to your left, um, which I'll go find in a second. Yeah, I guess film editing would have saved you the trouble of watching me run around like an idiot. But I'm also lazy. Oh snap, it's a game. I believe that one's, uh, it's like Knockout or Arkanoid, if you ever played that. To the Roadworks! That was me dying, because this jump was also kind of Back in the game. But that last game was like knockout, except like, as you move that little block back and forth, it, uh, it like just slides all the way around. So what I usually do is I look around and I go, oh, little red stuff. But it's usually just mine, so like, oh, how do I go over there? Maybe I climb this tower, maybe I don't. I don't know, but it looks like a fun place to go. Oh, there's a giant heater. I love those giant heaters. I think I'm gonna go jump on it. First, like, three times around here, I got stuck on, like, this ladder. Uh, I jumped into this fan, and it didn't do anything, and I kept jumping on it. Right there, I jumped and missed the fan. And then double jumped and saved myself somehow. So I got in here. Usually when I'm hunting for stuff, I press red buttons, because they seem to open magical doors. Apparently that's not a red button, so don't bother pressing it. There's another code. Type that in somewhere on some website, and they'll tell you all about the story. <gasps> Boom! It's another game. I forget what game it is. The Depths. Whew. Oh, Back I'm in so the excited. Game. I fell off the freaky catwalk. So I gotta walk back up. And I go, oh, I'm going to play these arcade games. But they're not working. They're broken. So 
So then I remember the last time I played this level, there's a magical switch out here that never seems to do anything, but it does do something. Dun dun dun. Oh, here's a little switch. This is what it does. It opens a door to the arcade. Because that's exactly where I would put a switch that opens a door that's 200 meters away. It makes no sense. It's like when you go in some people's houses and they have this light switch and you like turn the light switch on and you're like, what freaking light does this turn on? And the light switch turns out and the one's in the other room. So you get pissed and you start kicking chairs around. Someone put a switch on the other end of the planet to get in here. It makes no sense. Put the switch on the door. Hey, someone want to fix the electricity? No. Boom! F your chair. Fix a freaking circuit. There's sparks everywhere. Someone's gonna get hurt. Oh, play this game. It's a pain in the ass. Cliff Lodge. Probably should have put this one earlier, but I forgot about it. Oh, I'm back. I tried to walk that stupid magical ladder out there a million times. There's nothing out there. You can't walk on it. Don't bother. Oh, look! I left my hologram here. If I stare at it long enough and press buttons, obviously that opens this door all the way over here. Because once again, I'll put a hologram that opens a door all the way over here. Then you play this computer game on this monitor that looks brown instead of blue. And it's a bunch of blocks you push around. And... Alright, yeah, let's do this. You're like, but eyes, that's all the arcade games. That's the six ball. Yes, it I'm is. back. But this little gem I found hilarious. This guy's been playing those stupid six-pack games the entire time. And now he's pissed! And he smashed the crap out of this arcade machine. So if you get mad, do what this guy does. Bash your Xbox or your PC with a pipe. Later.